Yesterday was sorting day, and my wife made uh, cake pops with uh, each Hogwarts house in them. And so, depending on what color it is, that's what house. Really? Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't know that detail. Okay. <sighs> okay, so my heart wants it to be yellow, but something tells me it's going to be freaking green. No, it's going to be red because that's the house you're in. I'm not Gryffindor. I don't care what you say. You're a Gryffindor. I am not a Gryffindor. <laughs> yes, you are. Go. What, because of my sense of justice? No, because you're an ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's red. Green. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you do not deserve to be in Slytherin. <laughs>Welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. <laughs> well, if I was Harry, who's a Gryffindor, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follows Ooh, that's Patreon. sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> I told you. Was... I have to shut that down. Cake pops uh, are like a whole cake in one. Oh, my stars. In one, basically. Woo! Uh, let us know what Hogwarts house you're in, by the way. Yes. Uh, today, we got a uh, trailer dropped a Dude, few days though. ago. I believe it's Malayalam. Uh, and it's called this. Read this. Katanar. Speaking of sorcerers, yeah, the wild sorcerer glimpse, glimpse, read. a glimpse of the wild sorcerer. Read all this. Ooh, look, he's so wild. I should put some clothes on. Uh, Jaya Surya, Anushka Shetty, and then it says Rojan Thomas and Gokulam Gopalan. Um, and I, that's all I know right now. I believe it's Malayalam, okay. and I believe it's um, a lot of people have been. Saying a lot of stuff about the VFX as well, so like uh, hopefully positive, I think. But uh, also, R.I.P. Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, my dad's Margaritaville. A my dad's a parrot head, so ah, uh, I grew up listening to Jimmy Buffett. I assume he got to see him live. <laughs> he's seen him like seventeen, 17 times. Seventeen times. <laughs> yeah, seen him one time. They didn't say anything about cause of death at all. Did you hear anything about mm. seventy six? Well, he was only seventy six. That's but. He on the young side. I'd imagine he drank quite a bit. I imagine he probably drank, probably <laughs> smoked. Yeah. So yeah. Caught up to him. Could be anything. <laughs> he, here we go. He clearly wasn't following the Keith Richards life plan. No. Here we go. Boy, man. I... That's beautiful. Whoa! That looks like it'd be fun. Oh, oh, really? Fucking come internet. Come on. Uh. Shit. Great trailer. Uh, glimpse. It's a glimpse. That was a that was a trailer. Uh, oh, it's a glimpse because they didn't give you anything about the story. It's a minute fifty eight. It's a trailer. No, because remember that one that which I would like to know what's happening with that. Remember like the one where he had the guy had the the camera, and and like people were chasing like running towards each other for a fight. One was the Bengali. One was the. Oh yeah, remember that? Yeah. What happened to that? What? Yeah, one. We were really looking forward to that. What, whatever. <laughs> but happened to that? yeah, regardless, so, that was a that was like a tease, like a glimpse, because I don't think it's part of the film. 
this might be part of the film, but it didn't give you any story. I think to, to be classified as a trailer kind of has to give you some element of a story outside of he's a wizard. No? Okay, Regardless. Then the, then the trailer for The Revenant wasn't a trailer. I agree. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think trailer has to do with length of time. I think it has to do with what they're calling. Sure. We just got the Pathan. I mean, in the uh, Jawan trailer. Glimpse, purview, teaser. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it was first look. It was fucking cool, is what it was, man. It was fantastic. Um, it, I, I really, really good. I love the originality of it. We haven't seen yes. a whole ton of. I'm trying to think, have we seen any kind of like wizardry, um, outside of like mythological stuff? This looks like it's actually like spells. A little yeah, bit. this looks like it's it's very original i thought it was gonna say it's time to get wild because it's called the wild sorcerer when it was saying it's time i thought it was gonna say it's time to get wild but that's not a criticism it's just a, a, something i was thinking at the time and I, I i for fantasy lovers i don't know why this wouldn't excite you because this this looks great it looks one if it's malayalam which i believe it is um originality right but i love the fact that one they seem to be taking the helm of horror more than any other industry currently, like in terms of actually bringing horror elements to Indian cinema. Yeah. Uh, especially recently. Um, yeah, and it'd be interesting to see because it does list it as fantasy, fantasy horror. horror. So see how, where, it, where it goes in that regard. Depends on how much it delves into in that. In certain respects, a lot of fantasy stuff goes into that realm. Yeah. So. But it depends, how dark will this be? Uh, it looks... I'm very... Very interested in this thing. Uh, a legendary priest who believes to have lived in Karamatam and possessed supernatural powers. Okay, yeah, that's basically what it gave us, right? Yep. Uh, I don't think we've seen this man. Oh, no. We saw him there, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, we haven't seen that one. We actually haven't seen that one. I always get this one confused. Uh, say that name. Uh, Ayubinti Pushtakam? Uh, we I, I always get that one and another one confused, uh, Fafas, but um, we haven't seen that one. Oh, we saw her in Bajo Bali's. Mm -hmm. um, it look, the cinematography and the, um, the color correction and and kind of VFX looked super looked great. awesome. Yeah. Um, it looked like it might be like a visual treat, kind of almost Tombad esque. Yeah. Right? In mm -hmm. terms of like how like gothically beautiful it is. Yeah, it and it just looks really original and really interesting, and I'm I'm, one hundred percent, wanting to know more about this and wanting to see it. Presumably, I didn't, I don't remember did it say at the end. I think twenty twenty four. A twenty twenty four release, but theatrical, I would imagine. Please, uh, part one. It seems to be a common yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, twenty twenty four. Just twenty twenty four, but if we get it, like there's a a couple of really popular films right now. Um, RDX mm. getting really good reviews. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be a lot of fun, kind of like Battle of Bras. Right. Um, Distribution not playing uh, outside you, of really far away, and then another one, same same thing, the uh, side A and side B, which yeah. is actually getting rave reviews. It doesn't make any sense to me. You would think that in the midst of everything, distributors who are right now, I'm sure, quite concerned over what they're able to distribute internationally because so many films in America are getting postponed and put off because of the strike mm -hmm. you would think that this is opening the door for them to look for other opportunities to distribute other films so why why you wouldn't be tapping into the largest cinema market on earth who has now clearly tapped in to america's mind with the success of of triple r and some other films but yeah. especially triple r uh it doesn't make any sense to me why distributors aren't especially especially a, a, a bigger film yeah. you know um like, just it, play it more than one theater that's extremely far from us. Especially in international cities like Los Angeles and New York. Yeah. I mean. Because um, we have a big indie audience here. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, and when things are when things are dropped, like, you know, Bataan or what's coming up, or even Jailer got a few screens. Do you know Jailer's already going to be coming to Amazon on the 7th? Really? Already. And it's well, doing so, so well. Yeah. Well, I don't know when that, that changed a long time ago, where it used to be you had to hold out for three months from the end of the theatrical release before it went to streaming. That changed a long time ago. Unless you have a specific 
like I feel like Cruz, they, Cruz and Paramount said none of y'all. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm not putting it on our platform until it's out of theaters. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, uh, but, but Barbie's anyway, going to be streaming soon. I I hope so. Yeah. I really want to see yeah. it. <laughs> I'm like the only person I know. <laughs> yeah. has, and I was like so looking forward to this film. Yeah. Uh, anyways, this looks great. Let us know what you thought about it, which will be our next Malayalam film that we should watch. Um, I just remembered a piece of news that I wanted to tell you, but now I can't remember what it was. That's okay, Senator McConnell. We'll get to you later. No, that would be... <laughs> I hope he dies soon. Whoa! Hey. Just